Hello, we're gonna work today on making this kind of hinge um, model um, for this kind of lamp design. Um, here's a reference drawing of it. It has like this hinge that enables the movement of the flap. And yeah, all right, we're gonna be using Onshape for this. Let's start. Onshape. Where am I? On shape. Yes. Instruments. Arnum. Tadam. All right. I'm in. Now. Documents. Create folder. Uh, photo lamp. Okay, we're in. Now, create new document. Uh, let's call it, well, the actual photo lamp. Here we're gonna have the pieces and the, um, all the parts and, and, and the actual assembly. Okay, so I think the first thing we should do, it's um, the, I'm gonna measure these two, just to start. I think I'm gonna do the tube. Um, so to do that, let's go here in the corner, rename it, let's call these the PVC tube. All right, pretty simple to measure. We open our caliper. One hundred fourteen point twenty two. Fourteen point twenty two. I'm gonna go to top front front. Catch. One hundred fourteen point twenty two. Let's check our units workspace units. Millimeters, good. And now let's measure the inside with the caliper, but with the uh, little, th th these feet right here, these little things right here. I always rotate it just a bit, so I'm sure I'm in the outermost. Oh, I didn't turn it on. <laughs> Mark it to zero. Zero. One hundred sixty six. Mm, oh, let's catch. There you go. And we extrude how much? Let's see. Bring out the ruler. So they're going to be twenty. 20 centimeters, all right, 20 centimeters, so that would be pin, 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 200 millimeters, and done, good, we got a tube, uh, 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 uh. wait, what, oh, there is, control, control, shift, we, um, pan, no, sorry, 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 I click the middle button of the mouse and the control, and I pan on the middle, and I um, rotate the view. You know what? I don't like it being only on one side, so I'm going to edit this extrude to make it symmetric. Now it's going to be in the, in the middle. Great. Now, tube is done. Let's make another part. Now we're going to start with the actual um, hinge. Um... But for that, I need to remember um, this sketch. It was 114.22. 114.22. Okay, we got that. Um, all right. Let's go to front. All right. So let's do this. I'm going to do a sketch. 
114.22 I'm going to convert this into a reference line meaning it's not going to be an actual um, construction something right um, I'm going to make another one just a bit bigger how much bigger well we can always like do the difference between these two and ask it to be something in specific I think um, five millimeters is more than enough great um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a line here to here here to here just like that and then I'm gonna measure this to be a round number like 14 no 14 millimeters yeah and i'm gonna connect these to them well it didn't happen oh yeah it happened okay good now it's connected um now i'm going to mirror okay no i'm gonna create a line from here to here this one's gonna be a reference line um I'm going to you know what I'm gonna make this also a reference and then this is also gonna be all of these are gonna be reference lines you're gonna see why in a minute I'm gonna grab this line right here and I'm gonna say hey please mirror yourself This is going to be the en select entities to be mirrored. I already have a selected. I'm going to hit enter, which didn't work. Okay. Then what? Then what? I already selected the entities. Oh my God. Okay, let's do it again. Mirror. Select a mirror line. This is my mirror line. Entities. This is the entity. Oh, okay. It worked. Awesome. Um, now, I want to make this shape happen based on the ones I have. So I'm gonna use this curve thing. I can use this center point arc because I don't have a third point here. I can do uh, here. Okay, it didn't work. <laughs> it's gonna be first the center, then intersection, intersection. And now I have a solid line based on my references. I'm gonna do it again. Center, intersection, intersection. Now I have these two lines these two lines that I already made based on the reference lines I had. Now I'm going to connect them here to here, here to here. And this is going to help us extrude. Uh, I'm going to do it to your side. How big do you want it? I think, I think three centimeters is good. Yeah. Let's start with three centi 30 millimeters okay good look at that ain't that pretty it is pretty now let's you know what I'm going to according to my drawing I think we need another extrusion Okay, um, yeah, uh, so I'm going to draw it here, uh, new sketch, save from the front, I'm going to make a line because I'm going to mirror, so I need that line, actually, Maybe I don't need to mirror. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to draw as a reference. Like, how would it be? Mm. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to draw like a cross in the middle just to get the center of, of my rectangle. Then I'm going to... That didn't work. 
All right, maybe no. Um, so I have this rectangle thing, right? And I want it to be coming out from the center. I'm not liking my strategy right now. Center point rectangle. I like this one better. So we do a center point rectangle. But I don't like that it goes both ways. Corner rectangle. You know what? You know what? I'm just going to build it like like from scratch. Just going to build some line, line. Uh, this is just a reference. This is just, just a reference. So first of all, all of this is going to be a reference line. Right? And then um, I'm going to measure from here to here. Whatever I put here is going to be doubled because it's going to be on both sides. So 1.8. Yeah, it could be 1.8, 3 millimeters. 3 millimeters is... I think we should do 5. Because then 5, 5, and 5 is going to end up being 15. We can use a 20. Or 4, 4, and 4, that would be... 4, 4, and 4 would be 12. We can use a 15 or 16. There's a 16 bolt we could use. I like 4. Let's do 4. 2. And now I'm going to use... I'm going to do the, the, the one I really like, which is... Like it's gonna be like here. Actually, it should be like connected to it. So I'm going to say, hey, U line and U line, please be on the same spot. Oh, sorry. And then I'm gonna measure this thing right here. This is gonna be also two. Um, how tall is it though? That's a great question. Right now I have nine, which is not as high. Let's do 12. I mean, we can modify over like over time, so. Yeah, actually, I don't, I don't think I need this line. This line is moving. I don't think I need this line as well. And um, this one I don't need it as well. Actually, this one I don't even need it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from here to here the actual two that I needed. That's it. That's fine. That's all I need. And why is this? Why are you growing? Oh, because you're supposed to be four. So it's going to be four. Four. Wait, that's four? No, I think it's good. Yeah, I think it's needed. Yeah, let's try four. All right, and this is movable, which is not good. So let's just set it up to... Let's set up a dimension from here to here to whatever, two. It doesn't even matter that much. Now I can extrude. Oh into the other direction kind of like this i think 14.3 let's run it up to 14. good now i can um uh, what's this called bevel chamfer i always get that confused and then i can what is this that's not what i wanted let's do a 10. No, too much. Let's do a five. No, too much. Let's do a seven. Eh, that's better. Good start. Equal distance. I don't know. Maybe not. Distance and angle. What if I do 30 degrees? Ooh, I'm liking this. What if I do 10? Ooh. Yeah, that's more accurate to the drawing. Actually, I could grow these to 12. Yep. Oh, nice. Mm, 11. No, why not go back to 10? All right. Good. Now, these two features, the extrude 
But you know what? I'm missing something. I miss, oh my god. I'm missing the hole. So I'm going to create a new sketch on that side. I'm going to graph lines from the geometry I have behind me, like this one, just that one is more than enough. Create from the middle point up a reference line. These two lines actually should be reference or construction line as they call them. And I'm gonna make this circle uh, big enough for an M3 bolt. So I'm gonna do four millimeters and I'm gonna grow this that now it's 2.5 let's do four yeah it looks good the only thing I, I'm not that fan about is this this line right here should be construction and then from here to here also a construction line and now I should be able to measure from here to here uh, six how about seven what oh because I have this middle point that is restricting there you go I think eight yep I think five oh come on oh, there you go all right I'm gonna extrude but remove there you go. Blind up to next. Now I think I don't think that was needed actually. I'm gonna this last extrusion that made the cut, I'm gonna hide it with this little gray thing line. And here chamfer these two operations, the chamfer and the extrude, I'm gonna mirror them. Mirror the features. Um, the entities to mirror, no, not the entities, the features to mirror is going to be the extrude and the chamfer and the mirror plane is going to be this one, which is the top one. Oh, I need to click there. There you go. Oh, that was looking good. Great, now I'm gonna do the extrude, but I'm going to say not up to next, but through all. Oh, look at that. Oh, all right, now I have to make, um, oh, I need the bolts. I, I need to take measurements. I think I, okay, I'll be right back. All right got the bolts right here now um, what I wanted to measure was the head of the bolt so we can flush it a bit or totally and hey Matt hey. all right sorry for that pause now um, I got this bolt right here I'm gonna grab one of the m3 Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go faster right now because I don't have that much time. Um, I'm gonna, I'm going to draw on this one, this, this plane right here. New sketch here from the left. I'm gonna make three holes. I'm gonna make right here one in the center, uh, one here, and um, yeah, that's it. Now I'm gonna make a line. Sorry, from here to here, make this one construction. All of these circles should be four, four, uh, 24. Yeah, why not? And here to here. I think this one would look nice there. Maybe 20. Yeah, why not? Um, from here to here. Uh, four. Oh, it 
moves. Shooting move. Mm, let's do a 24. There you go. Fully constrained. Now this one, I'm going to say mirror from here, here. There you go. Awesome. Oh, yikes. Edit. Uh, extrude. Uh, through all. Remove. There you go. Three holes. I'm thinking three is too much. You should, I, I should only add two. Too many volts. Yeah, too many volts. Edit. Uh, no, no, no. Sketch. Edit. Uh, this one, I don't need it. Actually, I don't need to measure that one. Okay, good. Yeah, that's better. Yep, that's better. Awesome. Okay. Um, now, something that would look nice, though, would be, ooh, yeah, I like it. Oh, I messed it up. Let's just do this, 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 and this. Ooh, yeah. Woohoo. So cute. Love it. All right. Next up, we're going to uh, make the other piece that we're missing. So this is going to be... Edit. All right, you know what? I need to upload this to YouTube because I have class right now and they got to do something. So, see you in the next video.